Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade vManage running on version 19 to version 20.9. And there are two reasons why we're going to do that. The first one is that Cisco just announced recently, probably you saw my previous video, that they're going to update uh, the exam topics for the enterprise track. So starting on September, uh, the requirement for those who plan to take the SD1 uh, exam or for those who plan to take the CCIE lab exam, the SD1 software version minimum should be 20.9. The second reason why we're going to upgrade is because I want. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, the second reason, and it's going to be very straightforward, very simple to do so, and fun. I think so yeah so yeah let's see how to do it okay we're not going to upgrade the OSD1 solution you probably know that in SD1 we have the controllers and we have the edges for controllers we have vManage we have vBone we have vSmart and for edges we have v edges and c edges so we're just going to upgrade the vManage but if you want to see how to upgrade the other controllers and the edges let me know in the comment section okay so now we'll take a look at the release notes to see the upgrade path for vManage because we have to see which versions we have to upgrade first or whether we can upgrade directly to the version that we want so we'll take a look at the vManage upgrade path and i'm going to share the link to this document in the video description so currently the vManage is running the software 19.2, I believe .4, 19.2.4 and we want to upgrade to version 20.9 and we can see that to use this version we first have to upgrade to version 20.3 So if we look at the version 20.3 what are the requirements or the conditions so we have to check whether we have enough space on the hard disk and also if we using cluster we should take attention to this command so this is a standalone vManage so we're not running cluster so i would say that we should be okay to upgrade directly to version 20.3 actually we can't upgrade directly from version 19.2.4 to version 20.3 i tried i know it trust me you don't want to waste your time. So first we have to upgrade to version 20.1 and then we're going to upgrade to version 20.3 and only then we can jump to version 20.9. And I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so we're inside the vManage and we can take a look at the about section and you see that currently it's running the version 19.2.4. So first we have to upgrade to version 20.1. So we have to upload those files into vManage and we'll do that by going to maintenance software repository and we're going to add a new software vManage and we want to browse the file that we're going to upload into vManage. So I have in my desktop upgrade and first file should be 20.1.3. And we're going to upload this okay the file was uploaded so now we go to software upgrade and we click on vManage and we can see that currently this is the version installed and there are no available versions so we're going to click on upgrade vManage we're going to select the version 21.3 I'm going to click on upgrade I'm just going to refresh this and it's going to take some time, so it's going to wait. So this might actually take some time. You probably want to do something else. It's up to you. Okay, the software was successfully installed. We can see that it was successfully installed, the version 20.1.3. Now we have to enable this version. So we go back to software upgrade, vManage. 
you know you can see that now there is a new version available 20.1.3 so we're going to activate this version by going to activate and you're going to select 20.1.3 and we're going to activate and after we do this it's going to reboot the manage so we're going to click on activate and we're going to wait so it might take around 15 minutes or so depending on your hardware uh, resources so you might want to do something else besides looking at screen i will edit this anyway so no worries i got you covered okay v manage is back so let's log in and see the new version the dashboard looks similar to the previous version so we can confirm that right now we are running version 20.1.3 awesome so now the next step should be to uh, add the software or the file for 20.1.3 but actually no so first we have to set the default version otherwise it's going to fail so it's going to take a minute uh let it run it's loading still loading meanwhile this video is not sponsor anything so please continue waiting this happens all the time I'm used to it. Trust me, yeah. So we'll select here the version 20.13 and we're going to set as the default version. And we define the software version 20.13 as the default one. So if we go back to software upgrade, we manage. So that's what we want to see the current version 21.3 and the default 21. Oh, 20.1.3 awesome so now we can upgrade to version 20.3 so we're going to add uh, the other file so we're going to browse to the desktop now we're going to select 20.3.5 and we're going to upload this file as well okay the file was successfully uploaded to vmanage so we're going to do the same process we go to software upgrade vmanage upgrades we're going to select the version 23.5 upgrade so this time the upgrade wasn't successfully and it says that signature let's see target contents are too large I don't know what that means, but I know how to solve this problem. So we have to go back to software upgrade and we manage and we actually have to delete the available software before adding the new one. Don't ask me why. I'm just doing this. Now that the image was removed, now we go back to maintenance software upgrade vmanage and we're going to select upgrade not this one upgrade and we're going to select again the version 23 20.3.5 that we want to upgrade to we're going to refresh this and cross the fingers and yeah you guess it it's going to take some time as you can see now the installation was successful so we have to define the new version as the default one and it's going to cause we manage to reboot so we go to activate not activate should we activate actually yes yeah, so first we have to activate the version 20.3.5 as the new one so we're going to activate and this yeah it's going to cause we managed to reboot and we'll be back in 15 minutes or so so now we manage is back and let's see whether the upgrade was successfully and it was and right now it's running version 20.3.5 so we already know what to do first we have to remove 
uh, the software 20.1.3 but first let's uh, make this software version as the default 23.5 because we can see that the default still being 20.1.3 so we're going to set the default to be 20.3.5 and it's going to take some time not as long as when we upgrade okay the process is complete so we have to go back to software upgrade the manage and now we can delete uh the software version 20.1.3 and again it's going to take a couple of seconds or minutes okay the image was removed so we can uh upload finally version 20.9.1 uh, so we're going to upload and you already know right okay the upgrade process is completed so now we go to software upgrade we manage upgrade we're going to select 20.9.1 and we're going to upgrade and we're going to wait okay the software was installed so now we go back to software upgrade v manage and we're going to select to activate version 20.9.1 and it's going to cause vmanage to reboot and finally we can see the new look of sd1 version 20.9 so let's log in type the password so now we have to update the password so type the current password i think i'm going to update to a new one okay passwords changed successfully so now I'm going to log in with the new password. So username is admin and password, the new password. Okay, and let's see. And we see a look totally different from previous version. And this is very similar to eyes version.3 if you're using eyes. So it's kind of the new standard for Cisco products. And if we look at the version, should be run in version 20.9.1 so the last step will be to set this image as the default one and we can see even the menu here is different so we should go to software upgrade uh v manage and we see that the current version is 20.9.1 and the default still 20.3.5 so we want to make uh this current version as the default one so we select uh set default version and you select 20.9.1 so and it's going to process so let's refresh this okay. now the image 20.9.1 was set as the default one and if we want we can remove uh the previous image so we go to maintenance software repo so we can delete so let me see software images we can delete these images because we're not going to need them anymore so we can delete this just to save space and we can do the same for 20.3.5 but actually have to remove first from the v manage so delete virtual image or delete available software so we're going to delete this one as well just delete and it's going to process and then we can go back to the repository and remove this file as you saw this process was not so straightforward and i hope that with this video it saves you a lot of time whether you replicate this in a lab environment or in a production environment so let me know your experience by writing in the comment section so until the next time Take care.